What's up everybody? Welcome to BioS3 Raw TV. Today we're going to talk about... Excuse me, just get done eating cheeseburgers because I'm not on a diet anymore. So, <laughs> I'm not even flexible diet, I'm just eating junk right now. So today we're going to talk a little bit about this natty your hands thing. And all these people are arguing now. Which I don't want fucking arguments, that's not what this is about. So you guys have your favorite supposed natural bodybuilders. And I'm waiting to catch up off my face. <clears throat> Excuse me. You have your all supposed natural favorite bodybuilders that you think, well, they're the exception to the rule. They're the ones who are, are really natty and they're not bullshitting and they're not scamming people, people etc., etc. And you try to argue it like, well, so and so's physique is attainable naturally because he's only 160 pounds. Or it's attainable naturally because he's tall and he only weighs this much. Or he doesn't carry this much muscle mass. He would be much bigger if he was on steroids. First of all, they're a band weight to 131 pounds who take steroids in growth hormone. So no, weight has fucking nothing to do with it. Okay, there are a whole bunch of classes. You got band weight, lightweight, middleweight, welterweight, light heavyweight. Five classes below heavyweights, which are 199 pounds. And you guys all seem to think that, you know, these people that believe that natural shit, that you have to be a 220 pound monster. That's a super heavyweight. So there's six other classes, heavyweight and below, who all take steroids in growth hormone who are nowhere near a pro size. And they can stand right next to you and you look at them and go... The fucking guy takes something, but he takes his shirt off and he photoshopped this fucking shredded and detailed and crazy looking and dry. That's what the steroids are doing for him because genetically they just don't have the genetics to get big. So steroids don't just make you big. They give you that fucking dry, grainy, fucking hard look that you're not going to get otherwise. And natural bodybuilders do not have that look. Plain and simple. So you can bitch all you want. Hey, cannonball delts. This guy got this. He got shreds, shredded front delts, 3D delts, whatever the fuck it is. Bottom line, if it's photoshopped and dry as fucking full... It's not natural. Period. Now, here's where I'm going to drop some knowledge on you guys, because nobody's even fucking paying attention to this, and I don't know why anybody isn't talking about this, but you have these individuals on YouTube and gurus or whatever the fuck you want to call them, these so-called natural guys, who have all these fucking followers, okay? And some of these people actually pay for fucking programs from them, so these people actually train with them, and all of them are following their principles. They'll fucking die hard to the IFYM and say fucking... Oh, I do it like this because this is how so-and-so fucking does it. And I use their principles and I fucking get great results. And you look at them and they look nothing like the fucking guys that they're idolizing. Nothing. Fucking nothing. And they do the cardio, the training, fucking stick to the diet. They're high, die hard natural. And none of them. There's not fucking one of them that looks like these guys. Why? Because they're on drugs and they're not fucking telling you that. They're doing the same shit you're doing, but they have the drugs in the equation and that's why they fucking look like that. So you got another guy who... Swears to God, he's fucking natural, 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 natural. He sells his fucking training for $1,200 per month. Per fucking month. $1,200 per month. Okay? And you get emails and a couple phone calls from the guy, and he fucking changes things here and there, whenever. $1,200. Because he's known as being the natural one. He's natural. He's got the fucking key. And then what happens is these people go hire him and pay him $1,200 fucking dollars a month. And they still look like shit. They don't even get on stage half the time. And when they do, they get their fucking asses handed to them. And none of the fucking top bodybuilders or fucking figure girls or bikini girls or anything are training with this motherfucker because they know. They know flat out he's on fucking drugs. And he's telling them not to do them. And he's not giving them to them. Not telling them to fucking do them. And they look like shit. So why the fuck am I going to train with him? If he was making that girl look the fucking way she, that I do, not being on the drugs, then I'd fucking go hire him. But open your eyes. All these fucking droves of people that are supposedly, you know, oh, they're natural and they get the fucking natural way. None of their fucking followers or their fucking clients look the same as they do. Except for a very rare group of people. And even them, inside their group, only their elite of that group of fucking team look good. The rest of them are okay. So how the fuck is it, there's only specific individuals that are pushing that team, that product, that fucking whatever, who are fucking peeled and retarded looking and crazy looking... And they claim natural, but the rest of them fucking are so-so. How the fuck does that work? If you have the right system, and you're this fucking great guru, and you know diet and training, and you're fucking natural, and you know how the body works, every one of your fucking clients should look the same. All of them. Effort being put in equally, because these fucking other guys are busting their fucking asses too. You can tell it when they get on stage. They're all drawn and flat and sick looking. They put the effort in, but then you get the results. Why? Because it's fucking the drugs that they don't have that the other people on that stream are taking in that fucking little close-knit fucking group that they have that all hang out together and train together and do all that bullshit that give them the advantage. And it may be a pro-hormone that's legal. It may be something that's not legal. 
but it's still something that gives them a Photoshop look that the other guys don't have that gives them an advantage in competition. It also sells it to all you guys who fucking believe it and say, oh my god, they're fucking natural. And then what happens is like, you say, oh, FYI, I'm like, oh, fuck that, so-and-so does it. Check him out. Well, why does he look different, excuse me, than all the other fuckers that are doing it? He's got something that you guys don't. And when you guys are, oh, I got great results, great results, and I see a picture, I see a video, I see something, and I'm like, you look fucking average. Like, I can do that fucking eating McDonald's every fucking day and just training hard. Yes, you can do IFYM, but you don't look like them. So stop preaching the fact that you are better than everybody else because you can IFYM to look fucking good, but you don't even look that good. So pay attention, guys. There's a lot of stuff going on right in front of your fucking face, and the more that they push it in front of your face, the more it's actually happening. If someone fucking comes to me and says, you're not fucking natural, and I'm arguing back, I'm fucking natural, fuck you, I'm natural, I'm fucking... The debate keeps going and it grows. If someone comes to me and says, you're not natural, and I'm like, <laughs> yeah, well, you know, sometimes I am, sometimes I'm not. And I laugh and make a joke out of it, and I call myself out and say, sometimes I'm not. Now it becomes a joke and it dies down. It actually becomes a funny thing, and people joke about it, and they accept it. It's a way of deflecting the subject so that people kind of talk about it, but fucking don't really care about it. So you got two different ways of doing it. Some people argue it. That really puts them under scrutiny, saying, well, why are you so pissed if it's not true? And other people that kind of, kind of admit it, but make fun of it. So it kind of is like a joke, and they think, oh, it's a joke, it's a joke, it's a joke. But they're actually fucking telling you what's going on. And you just don't fucking know because they're making it a joke. So pay attention. Don't idolize these fucking guys. If you want to use them for inspiration, for the way they look, fine. Who cares if they're on shit? You're fucking inspired. You get fucking motivated from that inspiration. You go in the gym and you look the best you can. But none of them are fucking idols to be looked up to like fucking gods like you guys are. None of them are to be fucking fought for because I'm telling you right now, if this was fucking flipped, they would not be fucking fighting, sticking up for you with fucking anybody. They don't give a fuck. Training at gdml.com. I'm BioS3 and I approve this message. And we're out. That's the McDonald's bicep. And we're out.